Welcome to Demolition Ranch. I'm wearing a plate carrier from AR500Armor.com. In this carrier, I have a plate just like this. This is AR500 steel. It's level three, which means it can stop multiple hits from a 308. And in our testing, it's done exactly what it's supposed to. We've shot it with several 308, lots of 223. Nothing is getting through it. Nothing is even hardly denting it. We have shot it with some 308 armor penetrating rounds that went right through it. It was no issue at all. Then we shot it with 50 BMG, same story. It was easy, which that's expected. It's not rated for that. Now, a level four plate is rated for 30-06 armor penetrating round, which that should stop a 308 AP round, no problem. AR500Armor.com has just come out with their level four plates. Now they toyed with making their level four plates out of the AR500 steel, just like their level three plates, but they had to get it so thick to stop that um, 30-06 AP round that it was very heavy and uh, just not really an option. So they made these out of ceramic and composite. They have a ceramic front, um, they call it strike face, and that is made to kind of break up that bullet and get it to start tumbling. Then they have a composite back to catch the bullet. Um, so these are rated for 30-06. Now the problem with ceramic is they do degrade with each shot. It's not like the steel where you can keep hitting it and it's not really an issue. If you shoot one 30-06 right here and then you follow it with another one, it will be weaker there and there's a chance it'll get through. We are going to do a little bit of testing today. We have some 308 black tip, armor penetrating round, some 308 silver tip, which is the armor penetrating incendiary round. Then we're gonna break out the big boy. We have the 50 BMG full metal jacket and I have a 50 BMG armor penetrating round. First, I'm gonna shoot at one plate with the 308s and just kind of see what sort of damage it does. Now let me show you the difference in these plates. They're about the same size. The level fours are just a little bit thicker, which is to be expected. Um, they're the same weight as well. Here's the plate in the stand. I have a water jug right behind it. So we'll be able to tell if anything makes it through. This is the black tip armor penetrating 308 round. I'm gonna go low on the target. This is the silver tip, armor penetrating incendiary, going high. Let's go check it out. First off, maybe shouldn't have put my GoPro that close. You made it through a lot of battles though, buddy. You're doing pretty good. I'm gonna open it up and see if it's cracked on the inside too. Maybe it's just the case. Ah, oh, yeah, we're good. Just need to order a new case. GoPro's alive. So, what that means is something bounced off there pretty hard. Milk jug, solid, nothing. And our plate. Cool, I have never actually seen the inside of a ceramic plate. So I assume this is all of our ceramic material here, the strike face. There is some back deformation there. Pretty good back deformation. But nothing even thought about coming through. The label is not even ripped. Cool. So for those like me who don't know what ceramic plates look like on the inside, this big white thing is the ceramic, and then down there is the composite material, a lot of fibers. So that ceramic is really hard, busted up those that bullet, and the composite caught it back there and did a pretty good job of catching it, by the way. Very cool. Well, let's shoot one with a 50. Now the question is, will two plates stop a 50? It's not rated to stop 50s, but will two plates do the trick? There's only one way to find out. Here are two fresh plates in the carrier with a water jug behind them. Let's back up and break out the Barrett. Regular full metal jacket, 50 BMG. And I'm going to shoot low. <laughs> uh, 
it's gone. Entry hole here. Oh man, these are all stuck. You can see it's pretty busted out back there. It went through the second plate and went straight through. Let me see if I can get these plates out of here. <laughs> First plate, entry hole and exit hole. Now, the second plate, it actually did not go all the way through. Um, there's our entry hole there. I thought it had gone through. It just tore the plastic on the back side, but all this composite material caught it. Um, so I just need to try to get it out. There's actually no hole there, so it did not go through. Here's the second plate, got it out. There's where the pieces went in. You can see it's very tattered. There was not a single bullet coming in here, like on the first plate. And I'm not sure how well you guys will be able to see this, but it is all intact. Nothing made it through that composite back face there. Um, it's all solid, just tore the plastic a little bit. I did find the bullet. It was in there. Um, it is mangled, not how it was originally, um, but the majority of the mass is still there. And here is the water jug. Now, bear in mind, no bullet made this hole. This was from a very severe punch. This is what your belly would look like if you were wearing two level four plates and you got hit with 50 BMG. It would still hit you very hard. <laughs> These look like they're only compromised on the bottom half, both of them, the first and the second one. So, I mean, it doesn't even look like the rubber's messed up here. So I'm gonna assume that the ceramic is still good up there. So I'm gonna line these up first again in the first spot, second and second spot. And then the, uh, the first plate where I shot three or eight rounds and I'm gonna shoot the 50 BMG AP. Go big or go home. 50 BMG AP round. Going high on the targets. is totally turned around backwards. Um, it still didn't go through. Last plate caught it. I'm just gonna have to show you these because they're so screwed up I'll never be able to pull them out of this box. Um, here's the entry hole the first. You can see it went through and exit hole is right there. <laughs> uh, there's the second. Entry hole's down there somewhere, and and it totally fused the second one into the third. Here's the exit hole of the second right there. Here is the third, and nothing came through. God, I wish I could get these out. They're so stuck. But I assume the bullet fragments are in there somewhere. Well, I guess I need to go buy a new GoPro case. I wish that thing would have hit like an inch to the left or right of that, but anyway, um, took two plates to stop the 50 BMG full metal jacket. It took three plates to stop the armor piercing 50 BMG. Um, and those were three compromised plates. Those were not 100% integrity since I'd already shot them once um, with a 50 BMG and uh, two armor penetrating rounds. Um, but what's, you know, that's, that's fun. That's fun to know, fun fact, but the chance of getting hit with a armor piercing 50 BMG is probably pretty unlikely um, and it's more interesting to know that the plate took two hits from 308 armor penetrating rounds um, now if you get hit if I ever was to get hit with two AP rounds in the chest I'm probably doing something wrong but uh, it is kind of cool to know that it would stop both of those and uh, with very minimal back face deformation so Thanks to AR500Armor.com for sending me those plates to totally destroy. And uh, yeah, and I actually have some uh, ideas for some other ones. And if you guys will go comment on their Facebook page, I'll put a link to it in the description. 
tell them to send me some more plates. I'd like to shoot regular Full Metal Jacket 223s at them and see how many it can take before one makes it through. I think that'd be kind of interesting to know because that's probably the most common thing that we'd get hit with besides pistol caliber rounds. Anyway, thanks for watching Demos Ranch and I'll see you next time. And since I need to buy a new GoPro cover, I could really use some cash. So if you want to go support me and buy some t-shirts, that'd be sweet.